Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make three dots in a dash. Now, this is a tiki-style cocktail that was created by Ernest Gann in World War II. Ernest Gann is also known as Don Beach, who is one of the godfathers of tiki culture. And having said that, the cocktail that I'm working from comes from Martin Kate's Smuggler's Cove. Now, this is a slight variation of the original. However, it is one of the most prevalent versions that I have found, and we're going to work with that today. And it's a shaken cocktail, so grab yourself your shaken glass. And what we'll do is we will start with our citrus fruits. Now, we need a little bit of orange juice and a little bit of lime juice. So what we will do is we'll cut these both in half, squeeze half an ounce each, and pour those into the glass. Our third ingredient for this is honey syrup. Now this is a one to one honey syrup, meaning one part water, one part honey. You just heat it up until it incorporates and away you go. Our next ingredient is bitters. And for this, we're going to use a dash of Ango, and you just need a total of one dash. Next, what we're going to use is falernum. You could use a velvet falernum. However, I'm using a little bit of a homemade falernum supplied to me by my friend Rob from Rob's Home Bar. And I need a total of a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Our next ingredient is a homemade allspice dram. Now again, if you see the words pimento dram somewhere, they are exactly the same thing and they're interchangeable. We'll use the same amount of a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Our next ingredient is an aged rum. And for that, I am going to use a little bit of Appleton Reserve 8. Uh, use whatever blended or aged rum that you like, uh, whatever you think is gonna work best. So we're going to use a total of half an ounce or 15 mils. Your next ingredient is a rum, Agricol. Now I'm using Barbon Court for your rum, which is from Haiti. And I have to say thank you to one of my uh, subscribers, Doug, for actually sourcing a bottle for me because I couldn't get it. Thank you very much. Having said that, rum Agricol is French for agricultural rum. So if you're ever wondering why, it's also made with a different technique. And if you'd like me to do a video about the different types of techniques, please leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to do it. So we need a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now your next step in the process is to shake this with crushed ice. Now, you don't wanna shake it too long because it's going to dilute really, really quickly. So fill the glass up most of the way with the ice and there's not much I can really say that doesn't sound stupid at this moment about, you know, putting ice in a container. However, make sure you got a good seal, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. All right, so pop that off with the strength of 2,000 citrus fruits. Put it off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a Pilsner glass. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pour this straight into the glass. And what we'll do to finish this off is we're going to fill this with more crushed ice all the way to the top. And you just want to get it in there. Now, one of the other ways that you can make this cocktail is you can give this a bit of a, a, flash, uh, a flash blend if you want. And you want to make sure the ice gets all the way in there and is completely enmeshed with everything. Again, fill it up. Now, you don't have to fill it over crushed ice if you don't want, totally up to you. And what we're going to do now is we're going to garnish this with, traditionally it would be a pineapple front, which I don't have, but you need something green. So I'm using a lime wedge and three little uh, cherries here to symbolize three dots and a dash. Now let's just give this a try. Oh, really good. <laughs> Wow, the uh, pimento dram is really strong as well as the falernum. The rum is well balanced and hidden in there with the citrus fruit. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right up here.